Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal, homeschooling mom to three girls, ages nine months, four years, and seven years. Here on my channel, I share things mostly related to mom life, homeschooling, family life, and faith. And today, I'm gonna to be sharing our curriculum choices for last year as our oldest daughter went into the first grade. We homeschool with classical conversations as a basis because it covers so much ground. But we supplement that with Masterbooks curriculum for math, language arts, and for Bible. In this video, I'll be reviewing the math curriculum for Masterbooks, Lessons for Living Education, Level 2. To start out, I want to share why we landed on this curriculum. We are a God-loving family, and it's important to us that, number one, all of our teaching points back to God, our Creator, which is the reason we're here and why we do everything we do. So uh, as a basis for our education, it's very important that we're learning through that lens. And so Masterbooks does a great job of weaving through Christian principles, godly principles through their curriculum. In this curriculum in particular, we were looking for something that could take our daughter to the next level. We chose level two because if you go to the website for Masterbooks, they have a great place where you can look up each level, view and focus a few pages from that curriculum, and then you can answer questions or review questions that say, where your child would land based on a given amount of questions of specific things they would know at that point. That entry level process was very, very helpful. And so after going through that process for math for our daughter, we found that she was at level two. So she was, this was her first year of curriculum going into the first grade, but for math, for master books, uh, level two was right for her. So. It starts out with a scope and sequence on the first page so that you can see everything that's covered. They cover all the things, telling time, fractions, uh, subtraction, addition, writing your numbers properly uh, up to a hundred, actually up to a thousand. Um, they have simple fractions, they have skip counting, they have measurement, perimeter, telling time, all the things, I won't go into all those details because you can actually look this up if you want, if you're interested in seeing all the details of what they cover. However, moving from there, they also have um, a section about all the manipulatives that are included with this book, which is very helpful for preparing ahead of time all the things that you'll need as you go through the curriculum. Then they have a section on how to use each, each of the curriculums and then a schedule for you to go ahead and write in what dates you plan to accomplish each of the lessons for planning in your home. For this year in particular, I will share an example of how helpful this was. I knew last year that I was expecting our third baby girl. And so I knew that at, around her due date, I was gonna need to move some things around. And so I was able to look at this schedule and kind of push things out around that time in our lives. And that was very helpful for us to see what we were gonna get to at different times of the year on what lessons we would be covering and things we'd be learning based on that shift in our family schedule. But once you get into the curriculum, what we loved about it is how engaging and visually pleasing it was for our daughter who is very artsy and creative. This curriculum has you start with creating a place value village because you're learning the importance of place value all throughout the entire curriculum. And so in the very beginning, you make this village. And then as you're teaching the concepts of place value throughout the entire year, you're referring back to and using that village for their understanding of place value. We also liked that it started out with a story. So it starts out with a story of Charlie and Charlotte who are doing things like visiting their grandparents at their farm. Uh, their mom is having a baby and they go, they sponsor a child in another country. And it talks about tying in things from around the world. It, through their stories, it applies all the math lessons in a very applicable way as you see them go through learning learning how to use money, uh, learning how to measure things, learning all different kinds of things, including recipes and things like that that are all included as parts of each of the lessons. I also like that 
it starts out with an explanation of what you're covering and as a teacher what you'll need to prepare for each of the lessons and then it goes through an explanation of what's going to happen this curriculum is very open and go so once you get into the groove of things our daughter was actually able to just sit at the table read it for the most part and then go for it so these lessons are about 20 to 30 minutes at a time and i love that it includes copy work for writing things out and then i also love the way that throughout the book things kind of go in a progression so it circles back throughout the entire curriculum once you learn a particular lesson it'll take a break from that and then it reintroduces that and reviews it all along all throughout the book you have times in like the the fourth or fifth lesson of the week where they will include review and in that review, they review what you've learned in that lesson, but they also have reviews that go back and cover things that you learned three lessons ago, four lessons ago, and so forth. And so it keeps it kind of reoccurring in the child's memory for making sure that it sticks around for long term. I liked the way that they approach that. It's kind of broken up into lessons one through five. So you have five lessons per week. And usually on the fifth one or towards the end, they incorporate something that you do just for fun, um, like a maze or a coloring sheet or a dot to dot, something like that, where uh, they're just adding in some fun things and kind of lightening the load a little bit. That was great for our daughter. Once she gets it, she gets it and she's ready to move on. This worked for her learning style. She could uh, learn a concept, get it, and then have it reviewed at that time, but then not keep drilling it in too much until there were further lessons. And so for her at this level, that worked great. I also liked that throughout this curriculum, they include pages of things that you can do around your home to incorporate the lesson that was learned. So uh, they'll have you go and get things out of the kitchen or use a thermometer or find things around your house as you are doing the lessons. And for me, I really enjoyed that hands-on style of learning. It was very engaging for our daughter and that's just what we needed to bring math to life for her. And so we really enjoyed those features of this book. Another thing that we really enjoyed about this book is that it does include recipes throughout the book that were fun for her to try, like cookies and as they went around to different parts of the world, recipes that related to where, where the children were visiting. We also liked that this particular curriculum used a lot of things in your home to create manipulatives right on your own. So this year we made her very own calendar complete with all the pages uh, from scratch that she could design herself and then use throughout the year. We made her own clock. We made lots of different things that we got supplies for or just used construction paper for, but that she was able to do on her own with cutting and coloring and gluing and things like that, that really made math fun. And the curriculum did a good job of explaining the process for all of those things. It had lots of help throughout in explaining what we're learning. I like the way that it broke down addition, subtraction. Um, it reminds you at the end of every few lessons to review your flashcards. I really love that it included the copy work throughout the book because at this first grade level, I think copy work is great as they're establishing and really getting in that writing memory, I guess you would call it, not just in language arts, but in anything they would write. And so even when I look in her math book, I can see from when she first started, how she wrote her numbers from the very first day of her copy work to how she progressed throughout the middle of the book and the end and how much improvement she had based on just going through doing that copy work. Not only was it good for her writing skills, but it was good for really working through that counting process all the way up through the hundreds and thousands because as you're writing it, you're also drilling it into memory. And so I think that this curriculum actually really helped with our daughter's confidence in math and understanding a lot of these concepts. I do know that she left more confident after having done this curriculum than when she began and um, we found it to be very effective and fun for her.
which is an important part of learning in our home. It's important that we are keeping learning fun and creating that love of learning. If we can give them the love of learning, they can take that with them through the rest of their life, even outside of when we have our time with them. If they love to learn, it will continue in all different avenues, all different times. And I think that it's important that we build, develop, and foster that in our education. And I feel like these Masterbooks curriculums do a great job of that. So that was Masterbooks Math Level 2 of Lessons for a Living Education. If you like this review or if you are interested in seeing a review on language arts or Bible, their more than words curriculum, or classical conversations, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos that we have on curriculum reviews for those things. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to let me know. I'm always happy to share. I think that sharing as parents is one of our best resources. So please reach out in the comments with any questions or comments and I'll see you next time.